What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I am roughing off the Jordan 1 Top 3 in a size 7.5. It is DS. There's a total of 300 entries, and right now it's about 100 and something taken right now. You can go ahead and find a link of where to purchase that down in the description below. And if you decide to pay in person, I will be at Sneaker Games this Sunday, January 14th or 15th. Anyways, moving on with today's video, we're going to have a Yeezy talk. So lately, the prices for Yeezys have been dropping, as you guys may know. The Adidas pair, to be exact. Whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, it all just depends on the person. As a buyer, it's really good because that means that Yeezys are going to be more affordable. But as a seller, it's really bad because there are resellers out there and they do want to make their money off the Yeezys especially because it's one of the most hyped shoes that's been around lately. In my opinion, I would say that the prices on Yeezys going down is a good thing. Obviously, as a buyer, it's good. But also, just for everybody overall, just because... Nowadays, everybody wants Yeezys. Whether you're a sneakerhead or not, you want to own a pair of Yeezys just because they're nice and they're really stylish. And Kanye did once promise that everybody will own a pair of Yeezys eventually because they are trying to mass produce them. So the V1s are really good for sellers just because they did hold their value or if anything, they went up in price. For example, I remember when these came out, at first they were kind of expensive but then the price went down because they made more of them because there was a 2016 release. But now they're starting to go back up again. But on gold right now, this one is going for $13.45 dead stock which is a lot more than what it was going for before. Before it was like $1,000 or below. The Tans were like one of the cheapest V1s. These were going for like 1000 at first. But now Dead Stock for a size 7.5 is 1390 which is $390 more than what they were going for, which is a lot. So that's a good profit. Last but not least, but the last V1 that I have is the Moon Rock. And this size is going for 1450 which is the most out of all of them, except the Turtle Dove. The Turtle Dove is going for a lot more. And that's going for almost $3,000 now. I don't see any here that go below $2,000, which is crazy. I didn't even know they were going to be that much. Which sucks for me because I actually used to own a pair of turtle doves. And I sold them for around like $850, I think. So I took a big L on that. The most one is going for is $4,000. And that's a size 5, which is extremely rare. And as a buyer, the best shoes to buy for Yeezys are the V2s. Just because these are going down in price daily. To start off, these were going for like 1000 before the release. And then the release are going for like... 700 to 1000 and now this size exactly which is a size 8 or a size 7.5 is $700 which I mean it's around the same price but this particular pair seemed to hold this price for some reason because I guess this is the more limited of the V2s that are out right now as for the Oreo V2 this went down in price a lot this was going for I know like a thousand way before the release and then it went down to like 700 and then just kept going down and down and down and now the price are going for 485 on GOAT for a size 8 I remember I sold mine for $510, $515. But for Yeezy, that's pretty good because Yeezys are usually $1,000. But as a buyer, it's a really good price. I mean, you can't go wrong for a pair of Yeezys for that price. If you can afford it, then go ahead and get them. And honestly, the good thing about these being cheaper, the good thing is that they are more comfortable than the V1. God oh, damn, that's a tongue twister. These are more comfortable than the V1s. I personally like the fact that Adidas is making more pairs of Yeezys just because everybody can have them. And there's always people that don't get them and they get bummed out. Like, I remember I used to not get them. And I used to be super bummed out, and it would I get I get annoyed to the point where I would actually go out and then pay resale for them, which really hurt my pocket. But at the time, I had a really bad sneaker obsession. According to Yeezy Mafia, which usually has the numbers right, they're saying that the next V2 releases are going to be more limited. But I don't think Adidas would be doing that. I think they want to get more pairs out. So I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see what Adidas does. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Adidas doing this. Do you think it's a good idea of them making more pairs, or do you think they should keep them limited so they do hold their value? If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 by February 11th, which is Sneaker Con Fort Lauderdale. And before I go, I do want to make one more announcement, and that is that I am making a fan of the day now instead of fan of the week. Just because so many of you showed so much love on yesterday's video that I feel like I can actually post a fan of the day and have one for every single day. And by the way, if you want to become fan of the day, go ahead and just show some love in the comments, hit the thumbs up button, and also be subscribed. And then moving on to today's fan of the day, which is Bellum Jean. Go ahead and check out her YouTube channel. She does have one. She does talk about sneakers and clothing as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers signing out. Peace.